Hi, my name is Amy Howard. Today I want to show you one of my favorite finishes, and that's lacquering. But there are a lot of people that really aren't used to using an aerosol can, and they may run into difficulty when they're lacquering. So I want to just cover a few of those problem points that you might have when you're actually getting ready to do this process. So I've got with me a kitchen cabinet today to be able to show you the example of doing longer strokes on maybe larger pieces of furniture that you would be lacquering. Of course, what's so great about our nitrocellulose lacquer, it's not like a regular latex or acrylic spray paint. Um, it is a nitrocellulose lacquer, which in the fact that every time you apply a coat of color, it literally melds with the application right before it. So if I put on three coats, they will meld all together. It is a lot different than the one-step paint. The one-step is a chalk-based finish, which you use different um, applications of waxes and dust of ages that you'll see on other videos. The nitrocellulose lacquer is intended for bright, high-gloss pops of color. So you're going to choose things like lamps. Um, I use it on, I have used it on fabric before. I love using it on furniture. Be able to use it on uh, paper shades. There's a lot of different uses for it, um, even metals. I want you to experiment a little bit before you actually start working on your piece of furniture. So the great thing to do is to go to Habitat for Humanity, get one of these cabinet doors, and that way you can kind of experiment because there is an art to it. We want to make sure that we're in working in an area that's well ventilated. You don't want to work on it outside to where the wind is going to take the lacquer and lift it up and take it to another area on your piece. It's really great to create like a little mock-up spray booth. I like those extra wide clothes holders that you literally store clothes in and they have a big zipper in them. You can open them up and literally make wings of the side panels and put lamps or small pieces of furniture inside it. You want to just make sure that the circulating air is controlled in an area like you would have a spray booth. So just to be able to show you on this piece, I've cleaned it well with Simple Green beforehand. That's very important. Come back with a little bit of water and get the Simple Green off, and then you're ready to lacquer. If you're working on a piece like this that's already got some form of lacquer on it or some shellac, you don't have to use the primer. If you're working on a wood piece that you want to fill in the grain, I would suggest using our primer. It does have a sanding sealer in it. But on this piece, I've already got several coats of lacquer on it, so I'm just going to shake up my can very, very well. This is another thing that's really important. The pigments are going to be down at the bottom of the can. You've really got to shake this vigorously to make sure that that gets all mixed up into um, the can itself. So then you'll notice the top is going to spray out in a V. Normally when you're going to run across uh, a regular spray can, maybe with acrylic based paint or latex paint, they're going to spray in conical. So this is going to spray in a V. That's to our benefit. Because as we're spraying, we want to make sure that we are going to do, go in long, clean strokes. Think of this can of lacquer as your paintbrush. It's not to be done in a random pattern like this to where you're getting coverage. It's very methodical you're going to be able to learn as far as about how far you need to stay away from it. And it's best that you work away, work towards your body and work away on a piece. So let's say if this is the tabletop and I'm painting a nightstand, instead of spraying this way coming towards myself, that's not what you should do because you're going to get overspray on this side. And if you get overspray, usually it's pebbly. It's not to a pretty sheen. So instead, it's better that I start close to me and I work my way this way and I'm, I'm going to have a better coverage and a prettier finish. So again, make sure it's, sh it's shaken up really, really well. And I should have taken this knob off. So I'm just going to unscrew that real quick. Now I'm going to start off of the surface area where I'm, where I'm working, just, just a little bit, and very methodically, listen, now I lift that top. 
You see, I went all the way across in one long, clean stroke. I didn't stop. Now remember, and I, I joke about this with my husband, Gene, but this isn't like using hairspray. I, the women are really bad about using this aspect of thinking, as long as I get coverage, it's good. This is your paintbrush. So you're going to be overlapping it, and it's very methodical. Now watch my next application. I'm going to start about right here. Look at that beautiful gloss already just on one coat. Wow, I love that color. Okay, so now I'm going to go, I'm going to overlap it again. All long one clean stroke, all the way across. I didn't start and stop and I'm working my way that direction. Can you see that gorgeous sheen? Gosh, what an amazing color. Now, what I do want to do is make sure that this dries about 45 minutes to an hour. I want to make sure that I come back with some 400 sandpaper. I'm going to lightly sand over the whole thing. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to put another coat on, possibly three coats of this lacquer. Each time it builds up, the finish is going to be more and more brilliant, more and more beautiful, because remember, it's not just about application and the coverage. It's melding each layer, and it's making it into a really beautiful finish. I would top it off with a bright idea. This is literally a top coat. It's just going to help protect it and give you that much more of a beautiful sheen. So have fun. Pick your favorite color. It's so, I love bringing in um, my, my granddaughters and my daughters alike in really bright pops of color. It's so on trend. It's really beautiful. And the, um, the uses are literally endless. So it's your turn to go enjoy the bragging rights. Thank you.